V, it's good you're here. Had no idea you and the Aldecaldos had made up. They continue to grind my gears something terrible. But, you know... Their family. Exactly. What happened? Spit it out. The Wraiths took Sol. The Brick Brain ventured out with a small patrol and never came back. Sure was Wraiths? We've been observing their camp. We know they're holding prisoners, including someone important. We need to free Sol. I don't know why, but... I felt I could count on you. Always Pan Am. You and me are chooms. Thought that was clear. Careful, or I'll start believing that. You won't be able to get rid of me. I'll survive, I'm sure. Whatever goodwill you might feel, I'm sure you won't turn down one of the best sniper rifles on the West Coast. A Tektronica Grodd. You saw it in action already. That and the gratitude of the Caldos. Sounds fancy. Once you have it in hand, fancy all of a sudden becomes kick-ass. Let's go. Mitch will walk you through the details. Well, I'll be. Pan Am and V, what's going on there? Jim, after what happened to Scorpion, he shows up here? Guess probably for Saul. Ignore that. Hey, Pan Am. Seriously? You really aim to do this? Someone has to. You know you have a piston missing, right? Someone has to. Where's Mitch? He was supposed to meet me here. He'll be here any minute. You never mentioned seeking outside help. We can use all the help we can get. Okay, how you want to do this? Quietly. An open assault would be suicide. Mitch is already setting up the recon. You'll sneak into the Wraith's camp while I cover you. Wait. Meaning it's just gonna be us two? What about all you guys? Look around! The last attacks left barely half of us standing. Our supplies are stuck outside goddamn Reno, and our gear... Don't get me started. We're up shit creek. Static. And I don't know if we're ever gonna find or... Your leader gets nabbed, and you, what, hope for the best? Rather than I think about what you do for the ones at the bottom of your food chain. You're asking for trouble. Leave it! He has a right not to understand. There's Mitch. I floated a drone over the Wraith's camp. Will you take a look, or would you rather keep mouthing off? Mitch, how you been? Wishing duct tape could right all the world's wrongs. And hey, it shouldn't be me occupying your thoughts, but Saul. You taking a look or not? Let's see what we got here. The Raffins can't see it. Active camo, but that practically inhales battery juice, so make it quick. They found an abandoned cement plant to squat in, with a massive heavy gear. Locusts would be a better name for them. They fly into a place, strip it of all it's got, then move on. But this time... Do you see the wall? They've added some primitive security measures. It points to them aiming to stay longer. The question is why. Who knows for sure, but I would guess that Saul is part of the reason. If he's still there, we have to find a way inside. That guard post is probably connected to the rest of the camp. Our way in. Maybe, but there are also breaches in the wall. Lightly guarded sections. Do you see the tracks? Tire tracks. Their vehicles were moving heavy freight. It could have been equipment. Either that or Saul's not their only prisoner. The tracks lead to the truck. 
Can you scan it? That's probably the one they kept Saul in. The main building, there. Saul must be inside. Quite a spread. Be like looking for a diamond in a hailstorm. If they haven't scrapped and gutted the place for parts, you could access the local cabinet. You would just need to find the control room. Skywalk. It connects the garage to the main structure. Okay, got some stuff to work with now. Is everything clear? Let's sum things up, just to be sure. Sheesh. Okay. The Raffins captured Sol. They're holding him somewhere inside their base. We are the cavalry riding to the rescue, hoping to make it in time. You will strive to slip into the camp while I cover you, but we'll let bullets fly only as a last resort. They are many, we are few, so we'll need to look for any chance to gain the upper hand. You will pull Saul out, and the three of us will ride away at top speed. All clear now? Yep, let's go get Saul. Perfect. Mitch, is the van primed? I did what I could. Take a tour. Solid job. I mostly improvised, actually. Either way, it'll have to do. Hold on a minute, I got one more thing. If you find Saul hasn't flatlined, you'll probably need this. Spike Superjet. A rhino dose. It should speed up Saul's central pump. Hope so. Doubt I could carry him out of my back. So, that should be everything. V, will you ride with me? Yeah, of course I'm going with you. Okay, you take the wheel. One me driving. Yep, I need to fiddle with my scope a bit. For a spin, if you like. Himself, he's not at the top of his form. Yes, but moving civilians across the border during a bombardment? Hijacking a petrochem tanker? Opening the valves? Cranking a few figure eights to set the desert ablaze and give the kids a fun show? That's the song I remember. All that are idols. I know. It's just. One hell of a storm! Looking bad. Oh, it's bad in more than its look. We have to move quickly. We need to hide the car. Park beside that outcrop. Okay, out. I'll find a place to roost and keep you in sight. You just watch yourself down there. All right, 
I'm in position. I have you in range. <laughs> Saul, I think. Locked in the cellar. How is he? It's hard to say. Too dark. Okay, get down there and get him. Maybe we made it in time.
Karen. Is he breathing? Think so. Good. Grab him and get out of there. It's all. Do, do, do you have my goddamn cigar? Easy, Saul. You and Pan Am. Pan Am? But she left. Not for her. Wow. Gonna get you out. You. I remember. You're that merc. And you walk? Fuck! Something is out of whack. Pretty badly beat. Probably could use this. Oh, yeah. So? How is he? Time to don my dancing shoes. He'll live. Now get yourselves out of there. Middle of a shitstorm down here. Bruin to be a Category 5. I know. Get out of the building. I'll be right there. Brace yourselves. You're making a mistake. Another one. You're serious right now? Those devils wanted to know our location. If we drive to camp now, we'll just be setting the table for them. You look outside lately. The storm will wipe our tracks. And the scent of blood? What? We got more chomping at our tail. Fuck! One way to treat an engine. Fuck off, Saul. I can't squeeze any more out of it. Cut off that tail. Get ready.
find shelter! I know, damn it! There's an abandoned farm nearby! Yeah, I'll get us there! Yeah. Fuck! My head! You have to kill me? this place. It should be safe, at least for now. Inside, quick! I need to catch my breath. Just in time for dinner. Not hungry. I just swallowed a pound of sand. Looks like we're in for the night. A little power might be useful. Could you help me look, V? I'll search in here. A lot of useful things. The angle's left in a hurry. Biotechnica made them a good offer. Yeah, prime. Sell us your land. Or... You don't know that. No bulldozers, no backhoe loaders ever showed up. Lousy rotten way to get them out. Deal with the corp, you end with nothing, Saul. Don't. Damn, it's getting cold. I tried to get us some heat in here, but no luck. Can you check it? Might have the magic touch. Actually, you know what? Check the fuse outside. It might have come loose. If so, just whack it back in place and I'll get this jump burned. See what I see? Expiration day's from before the last war, so hopefully it hasn't turned to poison. Today's our lucky day. Lucky? Interesting choice of words. Do I hear a lecture coming on? No. No lecture. But we do need to talk. That raid's crap. It shouldn't have happened. They wanted everything. Our camp locations, routes, offloading points. If they knew what state we're in, one or two more raids and that'd be the end of us. And if you hadn't mounted a raid of your own, well, that would have been the end of me. See that? Clenched teeth, furrowed brow. It's his way of saying thanks. We've had our spats. A few, like any family. They're not worth digging up. I think so too. If you'd like to come back, 
Everyone will be waiting. Arms open wide. But there will have to be changes. No more jumping to the front of the line. And so it begins. You know what's coming. Bigger fucking problems. Maybe a war. We can't hope to handle the Raffins alone. So you would sell us out to Biotechnica? Vade, tell him it's a damn rotten idea. You know what, sweetheart? We'll have plenty of time to tear at each other's throats later. That is my hope. But right now, I wouldn't mind catching a few winks. Need help? Fuck off. Huh. Do you know what they call these storms in North Africa? Haboobs. Damn, I love that word. Oh, what was that about? To her boobs. Yeah. To her boobs. Ooh. Now that packs octane. <laughs> Funny. What is? I rarely sleep with a roof overhead, yet this will be the second time with you. When you're on the road, day into night into day. Your butt basically fusing with your seat. You forget what it's like. And? You think this is any better? No. Just different. Yeah, this would make for a decent little motel, wouldn't it? Little fireplace, booze... Grumpy guy at reception is the one thing missing. Have everything you need, ma'am. Mm-hmm. I couldn't ask for more. How's your whiskey, ma'am? Hmm. Warm. Subtle metallic aftertaste. Bold, yet smooth. Four out of five stars. Ma'am, I'm sure you'd be cozier with your shoes off. <laughs> After a full day in them, I'd fear a health code violation. Nonsense. After a day as full as today, you deserve to kick back. Oh? And what did you have in mind? Got a few ideas. Think you know what kind? Uh... <clears throat> the... No. It's really nice as is. Let's not spoil it, okay? I... I I'm, I'm sorry. Didn't know what I was thinking. Oh, it's fine. Truly. Don't let it worry you. Right. So, friends, then. B, I'm glad you came. Really. Thanks. It meant a lot to me. Ooh. Do you hear that? Nope. Mm hmm. The wind has waned. I can't speak for her boobs, but. When a Chinook rolls rough and rowdy across the plate, I sure can't get any, should I? Not a wink. On behalf of the staff of the Independent California Motel, I wish you all sweet dreams. Look who's alive. Hey, did you sleep all right? Good work, V. Old style Ray. It's all doing all right? 
Cracked skull, six busted ribs, bruised kidneys, but he's back at it. Bossing folk every which way. You? Hey, you gotta agree now. Next time, I choose the motel. <laughs> if there is such a time. Well, I slept like a puppy. That's a cozy shoulder you have there. <sighs> it's too bad I better get rolling in a minute. Hang on. I thought you were headed back to the Alicaldos. Staying with the clan. That remains so. Come on. Most times, Salsby's drivel. Monger's fear. But I have to grant him this. The Wraiths, the raid. It's the start of something we need to prepare for. Saul will get everything set up in camp. Whereas I... Whereas you... The Raffins wanted to know our roots, right? Well, it's the Aldecaldo's turn. Some recon is in order. One more thing. Your compensation. Please take care of her. She served me well. Putting her in good hands, Pan Am. I know. So, uh, thank you. Once again. Uh, hold up. About last night. We don't need to talk about that. I'm just not like that. So what are you like? More like this. Take care of yourself. You too, Pan Am. And remember, I'm indebted. Circumstances were different, I'd say saddle up and ride after her. But here and now, just look. Damn hard to catch a girl like that. Only hope you've got is they feel a pang and stop to wait. What's with you? Dunno, a memory, maybe. Don't matter. Okay, back to town, V. Headed up to here with this gusty outback.